Hi, I'm Tegan. I'm a forest ecologist at the University of Michigan and I am studying how urbanization or the conversion of land from forest to downtown affects tree growth and how climate change will also impact tree growth. We're here today in the Saginaw Forest measuring tree growth and taking some tree cores to see how temperature and precipitation affect trees. Today we're using an increment borer which is a device that allows us to drill down into the tree and pull out a little sample where, um, on which we can measure the tree rings and that allows us to figure out how much the tree has been growing every year. And this is a really great sampling mechanism because it doesn't actually hurt the tree and it doesn't contribute to the tree dying over time. You are done, so now you want to get it loose, so move it a few times up and down. Hey, my name is Elliot and I am one of the people in the forest ecology class here and we're doing some corn today as you all are learning about. Uh, it was definitely harder than I thought it would be um, and learned that uh, the amount of torque on the end matters a lot um, and it also matters like what height you are so it was fun kind of laughing with each other as we figured out how the different heights and different people were able to, to turn it better. I enjoy being a forest ecologist because it allows me to be outside, which is one of my favorite things, but it also allows me to ask questions about why things are happening in nature, and that's something that's always been interesting, interesting to me. So being able to come out here, look around, see something that's happening, and then understand why or ask questions about why it's happening is part of the favorite thing I have about being a forest ecologist. There are some downsides. There are definitely mosquitoes, uh, which are not very fun, but I just wear a bug net and then it's not so bad. So I'd say the positives far away the negatives. 